in progress. So we'll continue with our theories and methods. Methods and theory. So today we want to talk about difficulties in implementing a research strategy. So we have the research stage. So for the research stage, it starts with selection of topic. So when you are selecting the topic, the problem is about selecting the topic is that you, have, you could have a problem about funding it. That means finding the finance to finding the finance to you know to carry on with the project or finding respondents. So those are the problems you face when you are selecting your topic. Do you get the point here? So the first stage is about research, uh, research stage, which is selection of the topic. So when you are selecting the topic, the problems you could encounter as a researcher is finding someone to fund the project or finding respondents, those that you are going to, the participants, those that, yeah. those that you are going to involve in the questioning. Yes. I think that is clear. Yeah. The second one, reviewing ex existing evidence. So it might be difficult to find the existing evidence. This might mean that the researcher has to look for many possible sources. So the second point is that it might be difficult. Mm -hmm. It might be difficult to find, you know, research comes from a topic, a problem that has to be solved, right? Yes. So no matter how it is, there's nothing like new topics in the world. All these topics are refined too. They are, they are almost the same. Yeah. Maybe they, they just have to, you know, restructure them or so. So when the topic is there, when, when the problem is solved, when you have the topic you want to find out, the first thing you think about is sources, things that you have known, or things that are known about the topic. That will determine what are not known yet. So the first thing is, what are those things that have been known? What are those things that have been written about the topic? So if you don't find any, then it becomes like you have to start the research afresh. That is the problem. Do you get it? If you don't find any evidence. If you can't find, yes. You will continue to search. And you don't find. If you don't find, yes. So you don't start from the zero. Like you yeah, said. you have to start from zero. But before you start at that time, you would have tried to check every possible sources. If you don't find them. You might find anyway. Mm -hmm. But the problem is, when it comes to the topic you have chosen, you need, if, if it becomes difficult to find, um, to find review, literature review of those topics, yeah then you have to continue to search and search and search and search for every possible sources. That's the second stage there. And you understand the problem there, right? Yeah. Now, the third stage. Developing a hypothesis or aim. Yeah, this stage brings about difficult, cho difficult choices as decisions must be made about the approach. So, as soon as you come up with an hypothesis, now, how do you approach this hypothesis? You need to make decision. Okay. And when you talk about decision, making decision is about how do people feel about this topic? What are those things you need to do about this topic? What are the ethical concerns about this topic? All these things you have to put into consideration yes. before, you take your you, before you make your choice. Is developing a hypothesis or claim clear? Yeah. You need to approach it. How do you approach it? What are those ethical instances ethical instance about it? You need to know. Then, the next one. The next one, choosing a method. The method choosing might not produce data that can support or disprove the hypothesis. So now that you have your hypothesis, okay. you know, you need uh, evidence to, to support, you need information, you need evidence to support or to disprove that hypothesis, yes or no? Yes. So that's what they are talking about here. So you need to find a method that will bring about results. Mm -hmm. Get the point here. Your hypothesis is there. Hypothesis as you need statements to prove the hypothesis right or wrong, yes or no. Yes. So you need a method to be able to prove that hypothesis right or wrong. So you need to use the right method. Maybe yes. structuralism, maybe interpretivism. Ah. Do you understand? Yes, yes, yes. That's what they're talking about there. Then the next one, implementing the research method. They said the problem at this stage might be ethical, practical, or theoretical. So now that you want to execute the research, yeah. you have to think about the ethical aspect of it. What is moral? What is immoral about it? Mm -hmm. Practical. Do you think it's doable or not doable? Do you feel you're going to have people are available to carry it out or not? Do you think you can do it all alone? What do you need to make it done? So that is the practical aspect of it. And theoretical aspect of it. 
what have you written and what are about, what are you supposed to write what has been known what is yet to be known so do you understand so all these are part of implementing the research method so for implementing the research method the problems about implementing a research method is how practical it could be is it uh, theoretical or not and how ethical is the research